Good, good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Hopefully, you guys are good. Um, mood meter check. Obviously, I just want to know how you doing, how you feeling after lunch. I know I'm feeling a little red, a little green. I'm in between. I don't know how, but I am. Uh, we're going to start off, though, right, guys? So let's see if I can share the screen. Miss Canelo, yeah. attendance, did you take it? No, I did not. I wrote it down. I'll take it after, in case more, more people come. Oh, that's my schoolwork. Yeah, oh, let's learn about EDU 520. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Sorry, would you mind showing the quick video on dividing fractions again? Because they. Scored. I don't have it. You yeah, have we, it. We have it in the Google Classroom from yesterday. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, wow. Mariama's coming in. Wow, we got a full house. That's a good thing. Yeah, I All like right. it. The more the merit. So, two, let's go. Is it right here? Nope. Keep, uh, keep scrolling. I shared it on Sunday night. So keep going a little bit more. Only two minutes. Uh, wait, a little bit more. Right here, this one. Good evening. You guys can hear it? No. Maybe. That, that was my issue before. Maybe um, you didn't get bad. Thanks for letting us know, Mariama, your camera's not working. We'll note that down. Uh, I'm going to just stop sharing. It's going to allow you to share this video because it's not working. Look. Okay, I'll just share the video and then you could do the other thing, okay? Sounds good. All right. So, guys, we're going to watch a quick two-minute video on how you divide fractions. Just one more time to make sure we all get it. That way, for today's work, we can all earn an 80 and up, okay? That's today's goal on dividing fractions. So, here we go. Just give me two seconds. Did you take the attendance or should I do that? I did not yet. Oh. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, Mr. Oh. R. Because we have sure? to, Yeah, because they're all in like different sections. I'll take care of it. Don't stress yourself out. I got you. All right. All right. So here is the video that we want to show this lovely 602 who's going to bring the energy into this class. Here it is on dividing fractions. Please watch it carefully. Make sure you take notes in our class today. Look at Tinio. Divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide one half by one sixth. Keep change flip. One times six is six and two times one is two. It's an improper fraction, so we're not through. Divide six by two and the quotient is three. Keep change flip. It's all that you need. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide two fifths by one fifth, keep change flip. Two times five is ten, five times one is five. It's an improper fraction, so you need to divide. Ten divided by five equals two. When we divide by fractions, this is what we do. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. Keep change flip. Keep change flip makes into work magically, but it can't be explained mathematically. With the number 10, we can divide by 2, and that will leave 5 in each group. Or we can find that 5 through a different path by multiplying 10 by 2 flip to 1 half. It's the trick that never fails called keep change flip. It's real math and magic, so use this tip. We understand with these, these problems we know. Let's explore that thought. How many groups of fourths does one half got? Two fourths fit into one half perfectly. And we found the quotient mentally. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. Keep change flip. To divide by a fraction is a tip. 
Sorry, guys. All right, so as you can see, we're learning about dividing fractions. If you haven't picked that up yet, and we're going to keep, change, lit. So let's take it away. Mr. R is going to have someone read our learning target, our vocab, and then we're going to move on. So we already watched the video. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Let's get the show on the road, Mr. R. <clears throat> All right, so today's learning target. I can interpret and compute quotations of fractions by using visual fraction models and equations to represent problems. Now, today's lesson note says that today, scholars, we will begin division with fractions and using visuals. We will go over old common core questions, practice our skills, and have up annotations by using arms, which stands for annotate, restate, module and solve right so our important vocabulary words we're going to go from one to five and i would like the first representative to be emma emma can you read number one can you please make it bigger absolutely thank you for telling me that is that better yes number one yes, yes please Qu quotient perfect is a, a n Answer, answer to divide a problem to a division problem to a Perfect. division problem two i'll read this one because a lot of get, people get mixed up but it's multiplicative inverse a number is a multiplicative inverse of another number if the product of two numbers is one now i know that's like a tongue twister in itself but we explain what that is uh, reciprocal it's where we do the flip right so if we flip you guys got to get used to saying reciprocal why the multiplicative inverse of a number with fractions, the numerator and the denominator are switched. The next one is Lorena. Number four, please. Improper. I don't know if you're saying it, but I don't hear you at all. Do you, if you have headphones on, sometimes that stops you from talking. So you might want to unplug the headphones and actually say it. She was having trouble earlier. She rejoined before you came, Mr. R. Same thing. Oh, that's what it is. All right, so I'll call somebody else. Kevin, improper fraction, please. Number four, sir. Improper fraction when the, when the numerator is greater than the denominator. Perfect. Perfect. Number five, mixed number, Isabella. Mixed number, when there is a whole number and a fraction. Good. Now, these are the steps that we use in dividing, and I need you guys to pay close attention, because yesterday what we did was we divided uh, improper fractions and mixed numbers, and we turned them into improper fractions, and this is the steps. We use something called M-A-D, and that stands for multiply, add, and, and keep the divisor. So in this case, this is called a mixed number, as you guys see right here, and we have to change it into an improper fraction. In order to do that, you take the denominator, which is the bottom number, times the four, and then you add the numerator. So three times four is 12, plus two equals 14, which is what they have here, right? And then they kept the denominator the same, which is three. That's called the MAD method, right? When we change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Now the reverse operation of that is slightly similar. Improper fractions, we turn that into a mixed number by doing the following. We do 14, which is the number inside, divided by three. In this case, three times four equals 12, which is what they did, they subtracted two. Now I like to do this little circle formula that way you guys can remember that it's this way that we're going, right? We start off the top, which is the number four. We go to the bottom, which is two, and then we divide that by this number right here, which is three. And the way you remember that is a good little method of a C, a backward C, you see that? I'm glad that you guys are okay with me. Thumbs up if you understand so far what we're doing. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up if you understand. Wait, Sounds Mr. good to me. I have a quick question. Yes, did I make something? I, I'm, I'm really, I understand what we're doing, but I'm having a problem with my computer. I cannot see your screen. I hit a button. Is there a way you can help me get back so I can be in the class? 
Uh, maybe if I do this and then reshare. Yeah, thank you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Okay. So these are stepping it up, multiplying fractions. Now we know how to do this. This is a very simple problem. But one thing that you guys always get tripped up on is actually dividing fractions with whole numbers, right? So some of you guys seen that yesterday and we're gonna address that now. So you obviously do the keep change flip, which is KCF, right? But however, before you do that, let's say I have a whole number. In this case, I have three. What they did was they said two divided by three, I mean, yeah, two over three divided by three, and then they actually flipped it. If you guys notice, they added a one on the bottom of three, and then they did KCF and they flipped it, right? Making sure that the reciprocal, the flip, is always, there's a, it's always a three-step process, and you'll see that in a moment. But I want to, a good way to address it right now is if I actually do it. So, Nathan, pay attention really quick, because this is all you want, right? So, two divided by, Nathan, two divided by three. I don't know what you're looking at over there. Just pay attention. Two divided by three, sir, right? Boom. And then if I say four, change it up on you, right? So, two divided by three, we're going to do KCF. K, C, F, right? The first we keep, we know that. But before we do this, this is a whole number, isn't it? Yeah. So we have to actually put what underneath it? We have to put... We have to make it's right it up here. We have to make it an improper fraction, make putting a one underneath. Good. So after you do that, now you can do KCF. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. So we'll keep the two over three. We change the middle to what? Multiplication. And then you flip this, which would be one over four. And in this case, if I was to do the math correctly, one times two is two. Mm -hmm. And then three times four is what, Nathan? Seven. No. Three 12. times four is 12. Perfect. Can I simplify this, Nathan? What number goes into both of these? I'll give you a hint. It's right here. What number goes into both of these? Two. Two. So how many times does two go into two? Two goes into two one time. One time, good. And then how many times does two go into 12? Two goes into 12 six times. Perfect. So one over six is a simplifying question. And you guys will get that later on. But hopefully that addressed it. Now, another quick way to do this, guys, is also remember that the whole numbers could be either way. It could be the K, it could be the F, it, it could be either one. You just got to remember that in order to change a whole number, you have to make sure that it is an improper fraction. Are we clear? Ms. Canella, I can't see screens right now, so you have to be my eyes. Okay, are we good? I'm looking. Yep, I'm looking right now. Somebody wrote me a message. So far, right. so good. Um... Hold on one second. I just got, we have a lot on, so let me just check the last section. Okay, looking good so far, Mr. R. Hey, you want me to do this one or you want to do this one? I'll do all the odd. Do you do all the even? Sounds okay, good. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, perfect. All right, start with you. Go ahead. All right, so what is four divided by one third equal to? Daniela, I see you working already, so I'm going to choose you if that's okay. Uh, before you do it, it's okay. It's okay. Relax. I already drew it out for you, right? So what we did was we took four circles here one, two, three, four. And we divided it into one third, as you can see, right? So in total, we have one, we have three, six, nine, and twelve, right, Daniela? Oh, Kevin's like yes. Kevin said yes. So that being said, Daniela, really quickly, the KCF method would be how? Walk me through. We have K, we have C, and we have F, right? Now, if we do this correctly, we have four divided by what? One third, right? Four divided by one third. Daniela, walk me through this. What's the next step? What's to be the first step if it's a whole number? What do we do? Since it's a whole number, we have to change it to four over one. Damn, got it. Make, make more sense because if we just kept a whole number, it wouldn't make sense. I'm going to use another, letter, another color. Now, in order, what do we have to do to the division sign? Change it to the multiplication sign. Bam. And then what do we do with the reciprocal? Um, flip it into um, three over one, which is. Uh, Damn. So we have what exactly? What does this equal? This equals four times three, which is. 12. Which is. Good. And then, I'm. I know my mouse settings is not 
adequate, but you guys ought to keep in mind I'm writing on a mouse pad. One times one is. Huh? One times one, Daniela? One times one is one. Good. Now, really quickly, how many times is one going to 12? Um, one goes into 12, 12 times. Bam. Is it a whole number? Yes, it is. 12. Now, really quickly, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Realize that when we modeled it for you, right, and we drew it all out, didn't I get 12 to begin with? Yeah, right? Yes or no, Daniela? Yes. Good. So that being said, uh, 12 is our answer. Ms. Canola, yes. are you ready for the next one? I am whenever you are, sir. Okay. I was responding in the chat, seeing what they were doing at the same time as you did that. They looked pretty good. All right. So for question two, Nathan, can you read question two? Her name is pronounced Ilani. Oh, Nathan one already. Just give you a Oh, he did? Okay. Um, how about... Let's hear from Kevin. Kevin, can you read problem two? And I'm going to walk you through it. It says Ilani has planted. Ilani has planted seeds in. Uh, it says three fifths. Three fifths of the garden. She used one a half pounds, pounds of seeds. How many? pounds will she use for the entire garden? Okay, so first off, right, I'm gonna walk you through this question and we're gonna actually fix the flip when we get there. So it's the same as the other one. We got three fifths. So this girl, Lani, is making these seeds in the garden and she said, okay, I'm gonna plant three out of five or three fifths. That's the fraction I'm gonna keep, right? I know that I have to do a division question because we're not gonna answer these circle parts yet until we finish, you'll see why. But she's, the, the whole amount that she's going to use, right, she used this bag that's a half a pound of seeds. So where it says flip, the one half, I'm gonna write one over two, that way it's the same as the K one, the three fifths. I keep the first fraction, which is three fifths, which is the amount that she planted. She's using a half a pound of those seeds. Now, Kevin, when we are dividing, we keep the first fraction, which is three fifths. Mr. R, would you mind using another color, please? We're gonna keep the three fifths, right? Mm -hmm. What happens to the division sign? What does it now change to? What's the opposite of division? Time. Good. And we're gonna flip this one half. We're gonna make that be the opposite. What's the opposite of one half? The reciprocal. The opposite. We're gonna flip the one and the two, so flip it the other way around. So if I had like one third, it becomes three over one. So two over one, right? I'm gonna put the denominator on the numerator on the top and the one goes on the bottom. So one half is the same as two over one. Do you see that, Kevin? Okay, now you're gonna multiply your numerators, which are your top numbers. Three times two is what? Good. And you're going to multiply your denominators, which are five and one. What's five times one, sir? Five. Five. So clearly in this example, we had to use division and then convert it to multiplication. But now you look and you say six over five. Does that look funny to you? The fraction yeah. looks funny, right? Yeah. What do you notice? Which is greater, the numerator or the denominator? Uh huh. So when the numerator is greater than the denominator, it's called an improper fraction. So we know that a fraction is division, correct? That bar means divide, right? So I got to convert the six over five into a mixed number. So I'm going to do the operation of division. So how many times does five go into six about? Five times what? Good, one. So you're gonna put a one above the six. We're gonna multiply, one times five is five. Now we subtract. Six from five, give me one. Here's the cool trick you missed, bud. We're gonna use a circular motion. So this remainder one, right? Look at the circle that he's drawing with the arrows, like a cycle. The one becomes the numerator, which is the top, and the five, which is the divisor, becomes the denominator. So one and one fifth 
is equivalent or equal to six fifths. I'll show you why. That six over five is improper. This in purple, one and one fifth is a mixed number. I want to make sure that my mixed number equals this improper. So how I'm going to check is use the MAD method. Multiply M, the whole mm -hmm. number by the denominator, right? The top, the whole number by the bottom number. One times five is five. Then I mm -hmm. add the top to get six. So six, I keep the five. So six fifths is the same as one and one fifth. Does everyone see that? Thumbs up if you're with me. I'm checking a gallery of work as Mr. R writes on the screen for you guys on the board. Michelle, I need to see something. And Yankel, comprende or no comprende, senor? Yeah, okay. All right. Everyone. Mr. Neal, is he in the school? Yes. I have sent him Google Hangouts. He's my advisee. I have sent him Google Hangouts. I have sent him everything. Um, so if yeah. you possibly could show him how to actually access Google Hangouts, that would help. Will do. And then maybe if you have a few minutes after class. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, Mr. I know that took a little longer. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're good. We're good on time, too, I think. Can yeah. you check, oh. actually? Yeah, 144. Okay, we're good. We got a few more minutes. Then we'll do breakout rooms, and they'll be good to go to finish their work. All right, Mr. R, this is All right, guys. Uh, let me get Alberry. Yeah. Um, Alberry, help me out. So it says, what is two halves divided by one half, one and one halves equal to? show by using visual modules, pictures, and solve mathematically by using KCF. Now, Alberry, I actually already drew it out for you, right? We have, so if I actually take the shape, where is the shape? Here's the line. And I draw all halves, right? Boom. Boom. As I did to before, I don't know what happened to these little lines, but yeah. If I do it like this, we have two holes, right? This is all, this entire thing is one. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to put number one on top. This is two. That's two holes, right? And then it says half. So I have this much. Let's say these are burgers. And I actually got two and a half burgers, right? We went to McDonald's and they, they jipped me off, right? All right. Now, here it says that I have one. So I have one. This is the bottom portion, right? I'm going to split this right here. I have one and a half, okay? Albert, after me modeling this for you, okay? Clearly we modeled it. I would like you to find out for me, or actually help me out. If I do this line and this line, Albert, what am I gonna keep? What am I gonna change? You're gonna solve this whole thing, sir. Help me out. Like if you were doing it on your own, go. Um. Two, two holes with one half. Good. And put the division sign. So far, so good. And one hole and one half. Now, real quick, before you move on, sir, there's a big step we have to do, right? And I'm going to show you what that is just now. I'm going to use a different color to separate this. Before we move on to using KCF, I would like to address something. Are these improper fractions or mixed numbers? Mixed numbers. So we have to use the something called the MAD. AD. All right. So help me out. Two times two is? Four. Plus one? Two, three. Uh, four plus what? one? Five. Five over what, sir? Two. Bingo. And this one? What's two times one? Two. Plus one? Three. Three over what? Two. Two. Bingo. Realize I have not done the KCF method. But now that I have the improper fractions in the place, I'm going to use another shape and now completely separate all of them. Hopefully this, you guys can see this. Boom. 
Now I use the KCF method. And why are we doing that? Well, if I would have done it before, we would be confused, right? So we know we keep this, right, Alberry? Five over two. The division sign gets changed into what, sir? Times. Bam. And now we flipping this, what would it be? Two thirds. Bam. Two thirds. Now, are we done yet? No. Go ahead, solve, sir. It's okay. Take your time. I'm going to separate it again, and I'm going to solve at the very bottom. What's five times two? Ten. Ten. Line two times three? Six. Does that look funny? Yes. What do we have to do next? Almost done, sir. Divide. Good. Ten inside, right, guys? Pay attention. I'm doing it over here now. Six out. We have six goes into ten. How many times, Alberry? One. Oh, Time. Six. Four. Now, our mixed number is what? Let's see if we remember the method. We do this circular motion, right, from the top down, boom, and then all the way to the six, right? So our whole number is what? Um, one whole. Yep. And four and six. Perfect. Now I want to ask you a question. Can I simplify four and six? What, what two numbers go into what two numbers goes into four and six? I'll give you a hint. If I divide both of these numbers by two, what do I get? Actually, I'm going to so, um, and Alan wrote it in the chat, Mr. R. He did. He's beating me to it. All right. So if I divide that by two, sir, what do we got? What? Two times what equals four? Wait, one times... Two uh, times what equals four, right? We're dividing this by these two, this fraction by two. If I divide it by two, what do I get? Two. Two, and then the bottom number, what do I get? Three. Three. So now, if I actually do this correctly, my answer at the end should be one whole and two thirds, correct? Yes. Now realize guys, I took multiple steps to solve this, right? Now there's step one, two, three, and four, and there's more, right? However, I want to point something out. The mixed number that we had is one and four, six, why? Well guys, if you think about it, we only circled one up here and we only did uh, another one right here making the total be one and two thirds if you look at it right any questions on how we did that step by step anybody confused see you guys i'm checking the gallery thumbs up if you're with us give me a thumbs up if you understand what we just did with the visual and the math part let's see alberry i think you're with us okay kevin you check. said halfway why what's going on sir talk to me michelle okay Camera? I'm a, little, I'm a little confused because, like, at first, I didn't know you could, like, change the, the answer you got, like, one, one hole and four, six. Well, what I did, I'm glad you pointed that out. Let me actually address that. I only simplified this portion right here. Okay? So what I did was I was like, oh, wait a minute, one and four, six, sometimes the answer will actually be a simplified version. So you have to make sure that you have the simplified version of it before you actually have the whole thing. You always keep the one, the whole number, you're always gonna keep that. You just simplify the fraction to the lowest cost, which is two thirds. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else got a good question? That was a good question. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Before I move on, no, I could erase this. Yes, maybe, I don't know. I think it looks like everyone is 
looking pretty good here from what I can see. I just need to see Michelle's face though. Michelle. Is she had, uh, what is this, the last, I think this is the last problem, Mr. Then we could do temperature check and breakout rooms. Yep, oh no, almost. I was, I was actually gonna tell you, look at the time. Now I'm going to join on my phone because my mom and I, okay. You want, um, I'll do what, one more. We'll do one more and then we'll do the breakout rooms, Mr. R, because then that would give them 27 minutes to complete both of the two assignments. All right, last one. Okay, let's do this one. Number four, I am going to call on Javon Tyson. It says, what is another way to write four divided by two thirds equal to? Hint, think of the inverse operation of multiplication. So you're going to set this up as a KCF and then tell us how to redo it. Go, Javon Tyson. KCF. You have to unmute yourself, sir. Because if not, I have someone else in mind. Three. I asked you to unmute. Okay, Joseph, help him out because I don't know what's going on. So first, you have to make four into a fraction. You have to do, you have to put a one under the four. Then you have to change the division symbol into, into an X, which is multiplication. Okay. And then you have to flip the two thirds to make it a fraction greater than one. Two, actually three out of two, or three halves. Okay, so Joseph, the new algorithm or equation would be four over one, times three over two equal question mark. Yes, so. You don't, have to solve, you don't have to solve it though. It just asks you to know. Let's do the propose and the propose and I can't see that. I don't hear nothing right now. It so sounds like, yeah. It just asks you, Joseph, to write another way of rewriting that. Okay, problem five, you're gonna see this again. It's the same exact thing we've been doing. We just put it in multiple choice. Uh, who's gonna do this one? Um, let's call on. Let's try Emma. Alan. Oh, okay. I, I, I think Emma went already too, right? You did. How about Shayla? Oh, Shay didn't go. Shay, Shay, what's up? Come on, help me out. Come on, Miss. What is the value of the expression three eighths divided by one and one half? You got this. We're here to help you. I believe in you. Okay. So what do we do? What do we keep? The R and I, what to do? Keep the three eighths. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. And Don't mind me, I'm just drawing my straight lines here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the division sign. Yep, keep going. And then you're gonna put one and one half. Okay, so you said three eighths, division sign, and one half. One and one half, right? One. Yeah, so this one has a multi-step, right? What do we have to convert this to? Um, what kind of fraction is this when there's a whole number in a fraction, Shay? Is it improper or mixed? Mixed. Good. So you want to make it a improper using the MAD method, right? Mm -hmm. So convert this. One times two. That's two. Yep, two plus one. Minus three. Three over Two. Now give them the reciprocal of that. Okay, so you're going to keep the threes. And then you're going to change the division, division sign to a multiplication sign. And then you're going to put two, two thirds. Yeah. You mean three, two? No, no. Oh, two thirds. Oh, I did. oh you got me on that one, huh? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess you up. Go ahead. Three times two? Three times two is six. Bam. Eight times three? Twenty-four. Boom. Now, real quick, Shay, A, B, C, or D? Uh, oh. Is one of them. Well, it's is none of them for now, right? So let me ask you this. Can we simplify this? Yeah. All right, and to what? Talk to me. What are we doing? What are we dividing by? Uh, we divided by six. Yeah, you're right. Good. Now, how many times does it go in? 
six goes into six how many times? Oh, wait, six goes into six one time, and then... And, and six goes into 24? Six, four times. Bam, so is that an answer? Yes. Which is? D. Yeah. Wait, she did it all by herself. She found the GCF? Yeah. Nice. See what I'm saying? Shay money. Shay money. Shay got the money. That's right. She's my advisor. She better be on it. Good job. Damn. All right, guys. So the time has come for you all to start my work. Now, this is the best part of the day, honestly. Um, <laughs> Miss Canella, I know that you might want a breakout room. Before we do that, though, where is Miss Tanil? Right Ms. here. Tenille? Over here. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to be, I want you to set me up. With a, before I put your breakout room, I want you to put me in a breakout room with Miss Tanil. So we could discuss that now before at the end. It just doesn't make sense. Um, but Tanil and who else? Just me. Me and Tanil. And I'll, it'll be like less than five minutes, I'm pretty sure. Really? Uh, so do you want the, um, are you guys doing breakout rooms, just you two? And then? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just me and you, Ms. Tanil, for Yankel, mm -hmm. really quickly. And okay. then afterwards, I'll come back and we're going to do the breakout rooms in total and do everything else. Um, I'm definitely, okay. Yankel, yeah. well, join that break. Thank you for showing your work, um, Arlenis. All right, guys, so here's what we'll do. We are going to, I'm gonna release the independent practice and I'm gonna put it up on the screen for those that need help. Those that don't need help don't have to listen, but those that need support can refer to me. Can you open it for 604? There, it's all open, isn't it? When I went to check, when the, when you said right yeah, now. Open it right now. You need okay. independent, independent, Emma? I'm only going to open up your independent, okay? Uh-huh. All right, dear. Let me see if it's going to work. All right. There you go, Emma. Try now. Thank you. Okay, try that. All right, so let me go back now. i got to go back to my other screen. All right, let me go to Google Classroom. Okay. Six oh, what are we in two now? Okay, it's still not working. All right, Emma, right now just write it on loose leaf, and when Mr. R comes back, he'll help us fix it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Resume responses. Was I did it from my phone? That's probably why. Oh, what's going on? Okay, here we go. Now it should be working, Emma. All right. <laughs> Let's look at this. It says, use the division fractions to answer question one. Use KCF to arrive at the result. Who thinks they can try to tackle this problem for me? Who thinks they can try this problem? Anybody? K, C, F, who wants to try it? Get Alan. Alan, this is all you, Alan. Go first. We can't hear you, Alan. First, we're supposed to just use Speak up. The first, we're supposed to just leave the one half. What? First, we're supposed to just leave the one half as it is. Okay, leave the one half. Talk to me about the division sign. What do I do to this pink division sign? You change it to a multiplication sign. Good, and now I'm going to circle the last part in blue. What do I do to the one fourth if it's the flipping? It's good, so four over one. See, hold up. Wait a minute. So four over one. What is one times four, sir? Four. Two times one. So what's four divided by two, Alan? Huh? Four divided by two is two. Two, so the answer for number one should be two, guys. Okay, it should be, you should pick two for number one. The answer should be this one. Okay? Number two. Uh, Angie, can you read it? All right, Ms. Canella, I am back. I apologize. No problem. 
All right, so now you can give me host and I'll put you in a breakout room. Um, quick question. Can you release the work for Emma? I tried when you get a moment. It wouldn't let me. Got it now. Release what? I'm so sorry. You lost Emma, me. Emma was having trouble um, the getting... The form? I believe I can. Yeah, okay, here you go. That's just something responses for the independent practice. It works now. Oh, it works now? Okay. So, Ms. Oh, the exit ticket, I just opened it as well. So when you guys finish one and another, you guys jump in, and then afterwards you're done with your independent practice and exit ticket. You're not done yet. Nobody said you can leave till 2:20, so you jump on already and you finish some of that up. I know it's a lot, but think about it like this: if you do it now in class, guess what? You have to do less at home. All right, Javon, man, you gotta speak, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you should know exactly where I'm aiming at. Look at his face. He's like, what? Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why I received yesterday's work this morning. That's my question. But we'll talk more. Mm -hmm. uh, I, maybe I'll put you in a breakout room and we'll talk. Um, or if not, private chat me because I'm going to have host. Oh, I have host right now. Private chat. Did you hear me, Jayvon? All right. Um, Miss Canelo, who do you want? Oh, wait. Uh, thumbs up if you understood today's work. Thumbs up. Thumbs in the middle if you want to be in a breakout room with Miss Canella because you think you need more help. Okay, Yankel. Yank <laughs> Which one? Up or the middle? Which one? Yankel, Albury, Kevin, Emma. You want all of them? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you're confusing me. Let me delete this room. Let me add a room. Assign. You, who you said? Emma. So Emma Yank had her thumb in the middle. Yankel, Nathan, Albury. It looks like Cynthia and Kevin and Shay. Are you okay or you need help? I think Kevin might need some help. I got you. Help. Yeah, we got him. Kevin, He's going to come. Uh, Cynthia. So I got Emma, Cynthia, Kevin, Nathan, and Yankel. Anybody else? Emma, you're good. You don't need help? Oh, Albert. Mariama, Mariama I know that I can't see you or you can't mm -hmm. see us, but if you need help, please chat it. Or a matter of fact, I'm gonna just put you in there because I think you could just actually need Albert, it. you wanna go with Mr. Rudy? Albert. No, Miss Canella. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I'll put him in there anyway. She said she understood uh, the lesson. She did. That's All right, so I wanna see hundreds. So real quick, if you do the independent practice and you do not get a hundred, guess what you're doing? You're doing it again. And you're gonna do it again and again. And again, so I'm pretty sure that you guys understand the way I roll, right? I need to see 100, all right? All right, go on once, go on twice. Okay, Anybody else wanna go with Miss Canella? Wait, what about Lorena? Uh, I don't know. Lorena, do you wanna go with Miss Canella? I don't know, I can't see her. I got the whole screen set Lorena, up in front yes, of me. No, before I go. All right, Miss Canella, you have been sold to the breakout room, goodbye. <laughs> Gee, thanks. All right, guys. I need Kevin. All right, so I just have you five. Okay, five, six. Okay, Albury, ready? Nathan, we're gonna review how to go over question by question. There's three questions. I'm gonna walk you through, and you guys are gonna help me step by step. Therefore, when we're done, you should be able to do the exit ticket. If you don't finish it now, you'll finish it right after. All right, let's get to one. All right, my first person. I went over the first question with you all, right? You all understood how we got two? Okay, we write number two. So Emma, can you read me question two? Please. An art teacher has four, six gallons of paint poured into a container. If if he poured two sixteens gallons of paint into each container into he ran out of paint, how many containers of paint in them? Okay, so Emma, what do we have to do here? What method are we gonna use, young lady? KCF. Okay. What fraction will we be keeping? What is the first fraction in this question? Four, six. Okay, so I'm going to write four, six. What operation are we going to start with? When we see each, what is that? Division. Mean? Good. What fraction will I eventually flip? The division, we're going to flip it. Oh, wait. No, we're going to um, two sixteen. Good girl. Okay, now, does everyone understand? There's no rocket science on this part. 
I just took it right, Emma took it right from the question. Emma, continue. What happens to the four six? Do I keep it or change it? If it says K, keep. Keep. Good. Emma, talk to me. What happens to my division sign? You're going to turn it into a multiplication sign. Excellent. What happens to my 2 16th if I flip it or do the reciprocal? What's the new fraction? 16 over 2. Good job, Emma. Now, we got to multiply the numerators, Emma. What are the numerators in 4 6 times 16 over 2? 2 times 4. My numerators are my top numbers. I mean, 16 times 6. What's 16 times 4? No, no, the numerators, sweetie, are the top numbers, right? You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, four, sorry, 4 times four time, four times 16 is what? Four 64. Times. 64. Whoever said that, you are bam, right on the money. My ear Who can tell me what six times two is, Emma? Six. Oh my God! Six times two is twelve. Good. Now, Emma, we have a problem here. Sixty-four over twelve. Is that an answer choice? No. No. So this is what kind of fraction? An improper fraction. Do I have to make it a what fraction? A proper fraction. Not a proper fraction. A mix. Close. A mixed number, right? Number, Here. yeah. You were on the right track. Now, question. Does 12 go into 64 one time? Does that make any sense? No. No. Does 12 go into 64 three times? Yes. It does? No, no, no. No, it does not. Okay. So does 12 go into 64 Five times or six times? Well, let's pick. What do you want to multiply? 12 times five or 12 times six? You pick. Times five. Okay, let's do it. Let's do 12 and five up here. Help me out. Two times five. It's 60. Good. So? It's going to be that one because if it's times six, it will be 66. Good. So it's five containers. If you do, okay, hold on. Kevin, you had your hand up. Kevin, you have your hands up. Did you want to answer? Oh, oh, I was going to answer it. Okay, so Kevin, let me ask you this part, because Emma got us up to 5 and 4 twelfths. Can I simplify 4 twelfths to a smaller number? Can I make 4 over 12 smaller? Well. Yeah, right? Yeah. What can I divide 12 and 4 by? Give me a number that I can divide evenly. Mm. Let's try four. Let's try four. What's four divided by four, Kevin? Four divided by four is two. Okay, so no, no, no. let me teach you a cool math trick. Any number divided by itself is always one. Six divided by six is one. Eight divided by eight is one. So four divided by four is one. One. Now, Four times what is 12, sir? Four times 12. No, 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 no. Four. Has it up. Emma, help him out. You're in the same room as him. Tell him. It's three. Three. So five oh, and one third. Yeah. I want you to see five and one third. Let me erase this for a second. Let me show you something. We got five and a third now. I'm going to physically draw something to show you. One, two, three. Look at my purple squares or rectangles. Four. This represents five. Does everyone see that? Have it with us? Guys with us? Cynthia, you with me? Five. I know that there are three thirds in a whole, right? So I'm going to divide this into three here. Now, I know that I'm only going to be able to use one of these that are in red. So if this is container one, and this is container, oh, man, it messed me up. If that's container one, right, this is container two, this is container three, this is container four, this is container five, and this represents the next container, how many containers of paint does he need? Or she? Five or six. You've got to include the one that I started on. Six. 
Yes. Does everyone see why it's six and not five? You can't have a half a bottle. You have to buy a full bottle. So for example, if I drank this water bottle and I wanted to buy another, if I wanted to drink one and a half, I have to buy two water bottles in order to have one and a half to be drinking. Does that make sense? Okay, let's do the last problem. And then you're gonna be uh, set free to try your independent work on your own. And I wanna know what you're able to do on your own. Gibson wants to split his collection of crayons into six groups so that he has he has two six box of crayons. How much box of crayons will be in each group? Let's hear from Yankel. Dígame por favor, ¿qué operación, qué, what operation will we do? Multiplication or division? Division. Okay. Division. What are we gonna divide? ¿Qué número está aquí en la problema? Seis. Huh? We're going to do the two six. We're going to divide it by six. We have to make this a whole number by putting it over one, yeah? Yeah? So now we keep the two fit. Keep. Two six. The opposite of division is multiply what? Yeah, help him out, Kevin. Times. Good. Now, what do we do to the six over one? We flip it. What's the reciprocal of six over one, guys? Flip it. Somebody. I don't care who. One, six. Good job. Cynthia, two times one, Cynthia. Two. Two. Who else is in here? Hey, Nathan. What's six times six, Nathan? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. Thirty. We got two over thirty-six. Is that an answer choice? No. So we got to do what? Make it a question. Um, yeah, go ahead, Albert. Yeah. Help me out. Two, one, two, three. How many groups of two do I need in order to get to 16? Nathan, two times what is 16, bud? Two times yeah. 18. Yeah, 18. Therefore, um, you answer zero and you pick 18. Six was number two. And the first answer was one over 21. Does anyone have any questions about that? Okay, thumbs up if you're like, wow, Ms. Cannell, that really helped me get the work now. If you're like, yeah, I don't know what that lady's talking about, touch your head. All right, let's go back. You're going to work on your exit tickets now. I'm sending you back to the main breakout room. Let's go. Yeah, Angie, I got you right now. Go ahead. It's open. I just, I just, just now. Javon. Javon Tyson, sir, 